I'm Tom Wormy, and this is the ACC Digital Network brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. I'm now joined by 24-7 Sports National Recruiting Director, J.C. Sherbert, who's been covering signing day for years. J.C., thanks for joining us. Hey, thank you, guys. Let's go two-minute drill to break down how several ACC schools did on signing day. Let's start with Frank Beamer and Virginia Tech. Where do you have them ranked? Well, Virginia Tech finished uh, up more towards the top of the ACC, 29th nationally, fifth in the conference. Uh, you know, like the effort, you know, it was a tough year in the state of Virginia with a lot of guys leaving. Uh, they managed to get a big quarterback, uh, kind of a Logan Thomas looking guy and Dwayne Lawson out of Tampa. Uh, also a pass rusher they needed in Trevon Hill uh, from Virginia Beach. So it, it was a good class overall. Got to watch as the next great cornerback at Virginia Tech would be Mook Reynolds out of Greensboro, North Carolina, one of those big, taller, hokey corners they like to uh, recruit and uh, that end up being stars. All right, let's move on to NC State, and you've got them in your top 30 as far as recruiting classes go. And honestly, this class could rate higher. I mean, this could be a legendary class that the back fans look back at and say this is when we started our ascension as a program. Uh, you look at the in-state talent that they signed, guys like Darian Roseboro, who had Michigan and everybody else wanting him defensive end. Okay, second year for Wake head coach Dave Clawson. Now, how's he doing with the recruiting class? So I tell you what, you know, Wake, they they tend to get guys at times that you don't expect them to get. Kids get up there and they fall in love with it, and certainly Coach Clawson does a great job. Deontay Austin, Calvin Hall in Maryland is a taller corner. Uh, great feed. I think he's got a chance to really be good. Boston College losing quarterback Tyler Murphy. Tell us about Elijah Robinson. Is he the new guy at BC? Well, I really like Elijah Robinson. You know, I, th I think he's a guy that reminds me a bit of Tyler Murphy. You know, 6'2", 185 out of the state of New Jersey. Uh, good feed. He can throw. Uh, yeah, I think he's the heir apparent eventually. Uh, you never want to hang the starter tag on the first year true freshman, but I think he's a guy, skill set wise, uh, they could definitely step in and help BC win games just like Tyler Murphy did. Now, Mike London's been searching for a quarterback at Virginia. Has he possibly found one in this class? Well, you know, the search kind of uh, goes on a little bit with Virginia and their quarterback. They've recruited pretty well in, in nearly every position. Uh, the quarterback's been sort of a mystery at times. Um, you know, you look at the class this year, and, and there's a guy in Nick Johns from Washington, D.C. that I like. I think he's a guy that can get in there and run the system and not make mistakes. Um, you know, a lot of guys, coaches from around the country were high on him, a lot weren't. Uh, so it's a situation where we'll see, you know, just how good he can be. J.C., finally, let's touch upon Syracuse. Um, does Scott Schaefer have some players in his class that can make an immediate impact? Absolutely. You know, Syracuse is a team that's n never really ranks all that high uh, in terms of uh, recruiting rankings. But, you know, 24 guys in this class and a lot, a lot of players that when, you, when I watched them on film, I wrote you know, Dante Strickland uh, from South Brunswick High School in New Jersey is a versatile player. The only question is, is he a receiver? Is he a corner? Uh, he'll be able to do something that I think uh, will make Syracuse fans proud on some side of the ball. JC, thank you so much for all the great information on all the teams in the ACC. No problem. Okay, I'm Tom Wormy, and you're watching National Signing Day coverage on the ACC Digital Network, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday.